the Hodo reception baseline assessment was really useful because it allowed us to um, assess where the children were straight away. Um, normally the um, assessments can take up to six weeks but because this was done over the first couple of weeks very quickly we knew the children so we could group them for their literacy and maths, we could group them for phonics, we could see exactly where their learning was and that, in that way that helped us to plan ahead so we felt that we got a lot more out of that first term because what we were planning was spot on for every child. The baseline assessment was easy to administer um, and it was a nice way of getting to know the children so it fitted in with the way that we would want to start the year. It didn't feel like hitting the children with something too formal but also for us um, the information helped us to tie in with the rest of the school so it can give us that really um, structured baseline to move from going on through the primary um, phase with each child and that was really important for us as a school. They seemed to be very relaxed with it, they enjoyed the one-to-one -one time. Normally our assessment tasks would be small groups and in that way you can sometimes lose a child um, if louder, more confident children are in the group and it's harder then to assess them um, and their interactions. This way it was much easier to see those lovely um, reactions to each question. Sometimes they want to tell you a little bit more, they want to extend on the, on the question, um, they want to know what you're doing and, and you get to know their personality so that was really nice. The differentiation in the questions allowed us to sort of see where each child was at and then the use of the lower and the extended um, questions allowed us to really pinpoint exactly where their understanding was. So by the end of the assessment we could group the children quite quickly at the beginning of the year which for us was a big bonus. Normally that takes us six weeks um, but by the end of two weeks we knew exactly where the children were and we could put them into groups for literacy and for maths, for reading, for phonics. We could look at what they already knew so that we weren't sort of revisiting things that they already had. The Hodder baseline data that came back was really useful um, because of the way it was broken down. It allowed us to see how each child was performing in each of the key areas. So for literacy, we knew immediately where children's strengths lay, if they were really good with their phonics already or their literal comprehension, their reading for meaning, those kind of areas were highlighted. But also in the maths we could see with number, shape and space, measure. So as we came to plan those units we could look at individuals and where their strengths lay. 